Hi, a warm welcome to you. In this series of videos, we will cover the intermediate or SCBSC 11th grade trigonometry syllabus. So, as part of that, in this first video, we will try to recapitulate how we have obtained the trigonometric identities. To just move forward, trigonometry is nothing but measurement of triangles using trigonometric ratios. Measurement of triangles is nothing but measurements of triangles, angles and sides. If you are new to trigonometry, I suggest or request you to go through the trigonometry playlist which is available, which covers up to syllabus 10th grade. Then you can come here and continue with this. We are just trying to recapitulate what we have learned so far. So, to learn about the trigonometric identities, how we have obtained them, I have taken a unit circle, that means circle with radius 1, and I have a point x, y, which I have taken in first quadrant, you can take it in any other quadrant also, and if I join the point to origin, that particular line is making an angle theta in the positive direction of x axis in counterclockwise direction. Now, how we obtain the trigonometric identities is we know that there are six trigonometric ratios, nothing but the mathematical tools which we can apply with the help of which we can relate the sides of a triangle, right angle triangle. Now we know that sin theta equal to opposite by hypotenuse, cos theta equal to adjacent by hypotenuse and tangent of an angle is nothing but opposite by adjacent. If we apply that rules to this particular triangle, if you see here sin theta is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse, that is nothing but equal to y, cos theta equal to adjacent by hypotenuse, that is equal to x, tangent equal to opposite by adjacent that is nothing but equal to y by x and we know that cosecant theta is nothing but equal to 1 by sin or nothing but hypotenuse by opposite so that is 1 by y. Similarly secant theta is nothing but equal to 1 by cos that is equal to 1 by x and also cot theta equal to 1 by tan that is nothing but x by y. Since this triangle, let us say that this is O and this is point P and this is point B. If you take this triangle O, P, P, we know that we, if we apply the Pythagoras theorem, we know that x square plus y square equal to 1. But we know that x equal to cos theta and y equal to sin theta. So, I can say directly cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1. This is how we got the first trigonometric identity. Now, to get the second one, just simply divide this whole equation by cos square theta I will get 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta and also if I divide by sin square theta I will get cot square theta plus 1 equal to cosecant square theta. These are the three trigonometric identities which we have got. Also to understand how these trigonometric ratios behave in different quadrants, we can see that in the first quadrant both x comma y are positive and positive. In the second quadrant x is negative but y is positive. In the third quadrant both x comma y are negative. In the fourth quadrant, x is positive, y is negative. So, since we know x equal to cos and y equal to sin, cos and sin also, cos and sin also act 
in the same way. Let us try to put it in a small table. Let us say first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. This is third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant. If I take cos, sin, tan, because if I know three, remaining three, I can find them easily. Cos in the first quadrant is positive. Cos in the second quadrant is negative. Cos in the third quadrant is negative. Cos in the fourth quadrant is again positive. If you look at sign, sign is positive in first and second quadrant and it is negative in third and fourth quadrant. Tan is positive in first quadrant. In the second quadrant, tan is nothing but sine by cos plus by minus is minus. So, you get tan as minus. But in the third quadrant, where both sine and cos are negative, minus by minus is plus. So, tan is positive and in the fourth quadrant again, it is negative. So, you can see that all all the trigonometric ratios are positive in first quadrant whereas in the second quadrant sine and sine related are positive in the third quadrant tan and cot are positive in the fourth quadrant cos is positive in the next video since we have gone through how we have obtained the identities and also how that trigonometric ratios differ in different quadrants, in the next video we will see why cos of minus theta is cos theta whereas sin of minus theta equal to minus sin theta. And we will also go through the next topic. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.